Yo! I've been gone from YouTube for a little while, so I'm stoked to be back playing Scooter Flow, a physics-based scooter game, and that was actually really sick. I've seen a lot of people call this game the Skater Excel of scooter games, so let's just get into it. These are my first impressions. What is up guys and welcome to another video here on the channel. I know it's been a while. I am sorry about that, but a little absence is good sometimes, even though I'm very tired right now. I've just been working a lot, but hey, let's just jump into everything there is about this game right now. The sounds for the games aren't fully done, so they're not in the game. It is just muted. And furthermore, we got three camera settings. So this is the standard one. Then we got this one, a little more action packed ish oh okay and then we got first person mode which can be a little confusing at times i don't even know what that was let's just try that what if we go into the pause menu you can see the controls right here so these are the in-air tricks what i was doing was an invert we only have one trick using lt and that's a superman it looks like this Boom. Let's also just do the invert so that we've seen that. Looks pretty cool. Then we got bar spin. That's the right bumper and right stick right. If we do right bumper, right stick up, we got a tuck no hander. And then what is RB and down? Is that a toboggan? And then with the right trigger, we got heel whip and tail whip by pressing the right stick either right or left. And if we hold down LT and RT, you can do continuous tail whips which i don't know why you shouldn't just be able to hold the tricks but hey it's an early access game so it's far from done but we got a tail whip right there we got a heel whip so the controls are much like pipe if you know that game oh the, the flips are feeling a bit weird but i i do like them Little double whip a line i really like is starting here and then you can kind of go down there do one Okay, that's actually kind of easy. I skateboard in real life, so I don't know if the tricks I do in this video are cool or anything. We're just chilling. Oh, that looks cool. I did like the other camera angle though, and I've seen some people do manuals. But I don't really know how to do that. Oh my gosh, that's not how you do it. You do jump a bit high. It's very easy to get over this rail. I'm just trying to like to 70 bar and then on some sort of grind. Wow. Hey, yo, to Fagy. Okay. Ah, would it be tough landing in like a 50? Okay, it's so easy to go over. Oh, okay. I, I guess we're counting that. And that was pretty easy. All right. I'm doing good for a skateboarder. Playing the scooter game. So how do you manual? Oh, there we go. How did I do that? Let's just search the flat bar for a little bit. I want to get this and then to Fagy. And we can do like 180 bar. What? Look at that pop. That might need some adjusting. Okay, that was pretty cool. Can we grind this up? Oh, okay, we made it. Turning into a pretty cool line. Oh, I wish I could have hold that. Let's see if we can, like, grind this and then get into it. Nice. Damn, that was sick. And then over to the hip. To Fagy. And let's just end it. That was a pretty cool line. I'm actually having a lot of fun with this game. Until now. Nice, and then, not nice. Smooth, I guess. What was that? That was pretty steezy, and then I'm going for this. Oh, I wish I would have landed another grind. We're going so slow right now. Oh my god. Let's just quickly check out the other maps. You can also fully customize your scooter. So 
So that's pretty cool. I made mine after one of the kids at the skate park I work at. So I just took a photo of his scooter and I was like, let's see how closely I can recreate it in the game. And it's actually pretty close. All of these parts right here, you can, some of them you can change to different models. And you can then change completely how the metal effect is and what color. Like it, it's a really good customization menu. It really is. And then here in gameplay, we of course have the park we're skating right now. We got the vert ramp. I don't know if we should start with that. I don't think I'm going to be scooting here for too much. But we got a lot of tail whips. Damn. Oh no. There we go. Oh. Ooh, a flare bar spin. Ooh, what? Was that even a bar spin? What? Let's check out the mega ramp. Let's just get a heel whip into the rolling and then we'll try a... What is that? Triple backflip to bargain? What? Okay. <laughs> That's ridiculous. And that's ridiculous as well. <laughs> kind of funny though. Is that like a decade? Decade-ish? Yo, that was actually kind of sick. <gasps> what? Did I just do a double flare? Like, I know nothing about scooter tricks, but that was actually really sick. To bargain into that. And then a 1080 invert. Can we get that? Oh, okay, kind of sketchy. And then a... Ah, okay, I wanted to just triple whip into something. I don't know. I I'm not a scooter rider. You know, I don't hate on scooters. I know a lot of my fellow skateboarders do. But, uh... No, I, we, we have a lot of really nice scooter kids at the skate park I work at. I think the problem is when, you know, parents just dump their very small children... And just say, like, go at all times. Snake everyone. Have fun. That's the problem. Let's see if we can get a Miracle Whip for a sexy sec. I guess that was it. Can you flip slower? Okay, you kind of can. Oh! <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. We'll just go back to Washington Way Skate Park. The transition skating could use some uh, some fixes here and there, but generally it is a fun time. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I would say the biggest changes the game needs right now is actually some smaller things to make it more enjoyable, like being able to hold your tail whips and heel whips, and, and bar spins for that matter, instead of having to press both triggers. And then I actually also think it's the wrong way right now, so I'm actually doing the input for a double heel whip. But it's doing double tail whip. Otherwise, I think the game flows really well. And even though I don't scoot in real life, I don't know if that's the term. Oh yeah, something I didn't mention is, let's just change the camera angle. If you press the left stick, you enter slow motion mode. Which is really nice. I, I do like this mode. And then, if we click in the right stick, let's try to do that mid trick. We will do... A tuck no-hander. You can press the right stick and... Oh, that's a... <laughs> See, that one is looking pretty sick. You can you could snap some cool photos like that. We, we do still need a replay editor. Even though I don't really know if I would be doing that many edits. But I just think that if... If there's people out there that has passion for scooter riding and video games. The way I have for skateboarding and video games. You know, it's an absolute must-have. But that was it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to ScooterFlow for sending me a review copy. There's more information on the game in the description, so go ahead and check it out. It's available on Steam. But once again, it's early access. It is not a finished game. Thank you so much for watching. I'll just be seeing you in the very next video here on the channel. Until then, have it good and peace out.